Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Our next guest is a legend with over 30 years in the music industry. He recently released his 24th studio album entitled The Song Garden. Please help me welcome to the show the one and only Grammy nominated Prince of Sophisticated Soul himself, Will Downing. Welcome to the show. Man, thank you, man. Thanks for having me, brother. Glad to be here. Listen, this we've all gone through a lot in the last year or so. How has it been for you? Obviously, it hasn't <laughs> stopped you from making music because you released two projects. But how has it been for you? <laughs> Hey, man, it's been about as crazy for me as it's been for everyone else. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it goes to show you that you're not as smart as you think you are. I kept thinking like, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we'll be back in a month. You know, month went by. I was like, yeah, we'll be back in two months. Yep. Two months went by. I'm like, we coming up on a year yeah. and a month. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So, right. you know what, man, with whatever you're faced with, you just, you know, do the best you can. And as you said, uh, yeah, I put together a whole bunch of music in between that time and, and just did what I normally do, man. But it right. goes you it goes to show you once again that like, say, yeah, maybe I should have went to school, you know, because <laughs> and this all said and done, it's like, that's all you do is sing. Like, and if you can't right. sing, you ass out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all right. It is. Well, let me ask you, because, you know, your music, I mean, your voice in itself, I mean, it's just uh, a national treasure, in my opinion. Oh man, thank you. When thank did you, you know you could sing? Um, uh, I didn't, man. I, you know, everybody around me kind of told me, "Hey, yeah, you're a little, you know, a little better than everyone else around you." But my parents always kind of told me, like, all black folks can sing, and all black folks are good in sports, so you ain't special. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, okay, well, I guess I ain't special." <laughs> but some teachers kind of told me otherwise, and kind of pushed me into going into music. So I just kind of followed, you know. Uh, my dream, as far as that's concerned, I've always enjoyed singing, yeah. but I never thought I'd be making a living at it. And in 30 years into the industry, I mean, did it go by fast or does it feel like 30 <laughs> years? How's it been for you? You know what? It doesn't feel like 30 years, mm -hmm. but it's been a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you look over my shoulder here, if you see all the albums up on the yeah. wall, and that's just a few of them. Uh, you know, I do a 24th album. It's 24. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put out an album pretty much every year and a half, two years. Yeah. Um, you know, in the early days, that was like unheard of, you know, mm -hmm. to put out an album that's so often. But yeah. now it's like, you know, as soon as you put out an album, folks are like, when's the next one coming? Someone asked me that, what, a couple of days ago, someone sent me something <laughs> on social. I literally, like last <laughs> Last week, <laughs> they're, like, they're like, yeah, man. I said, yeah, I just released something. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. So well, when's the next one? I'm like, you know, these things take time to make, exactly. not to mention money. So, right, right. Yeah, people are crazy, man. They just, they just want, 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 want. So if you got the ability to do, then do, 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 do. Right. But they want, 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 want. Exactly. Now I've recorded. A lot, I've interviewed a lot of um, artists over the pandemic, and a lot of them have turn to their, their their talent, their music, create new music. How were you motivated to do that during the pandemic? Again, this is your second project in the pandemic. How have you how were you motivated to do that? Bills. Hey, I'm sorry. Maybe I said that incorrectly. <laughs> Williams. They send Williams to my house. Yeah. Bill, Bill's abbreviation so of William. Now I get Williams, I get grown ass Bills, right. at Williams at my house. But nah, man, I mean, this is pretty much what I do. Yeah. Um, the pandemic, the only thing that really has affected me in a huge way is the live show. Yeah. So, sure yeah, so, yeah, so during the week, I'm pretty much here doing what I've always done. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm always recording during like the weekdays, like Monday through, like say a Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then we would always leave on a Friday to go do shows on Friday, Saturday, and sometimes mm -hmm. Sunday. And then we would fly back on Monday and then I was back in the studio again. Right. So now I'm basically just making music, you know, seven days a week. Yeah. So I saw on your website that you have some upcoming dates later this year. How do you think that's gonna look for you? You know, cause I know we're all trying to do, you know, trying to have some kind of normalcy, but do things safe. How's it look for you, do you think? You know, I don't know, man. I mean, they're on the calendar, yeah. but I get a phone call, seems like every other day yeah. of, you know, from someone, a, an agent or a promoter kind of saying, well, you know, what's your, what's, what's 2022 looking like? Right. You know, I literally got that call like two hours ago. Yeah. My agent said, hey, we had a date and so-and-so. Uh, are you free on this date in 2022? I'm going, are we moving a date? Oh, 
right. yeah, yeah. We just want to just look at our options. So yeah. I think that um, one of the, some of the bigger companies about a week ago kind of made an announcement that all the festivals and all of this and that will be in move to 2022. And I think everybody's sort of like, eh, I guess we better follow suit. Yeah. So I'm not sure if, you know, if there's going to be any shows this year. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, no, I get that. I definitely get that. I don't think any of us know what's going to happen, really. You know what I mean? No, no, yeah. no, nah, no clue. Well, we got to talk about your uh, syndicated radio show, um, The Wild Down, The Wind Down, excuse me. It's in 20 stations around the world. Tell us everything about that. What can your fans and, and you know, people that want to know more about the show know about it? Well, you know what? I've been doing the show for many, many years now. I yeah. probably started back in like 2008, 2009, somewhere mm -hmm. around there. And it's a weekly show. And what I do is, yeah, I mean, it's different from your regular Mm -hmm. what is uh, known as terrestrial radio. So I'm not just playing the top singles that everyone else is playing. Like, you know, you, know, you can go to other stations and go go do that. Right. So what I try to do is uh, if someone releases an album, I try to dig into the album a little bit more, play a song that uh, you wouldn't normally get to hear by this artist. Mm -hmm. I try to introduce new music from new up and coming artists. Yeah. Uh, we have a segment on the show called Interpretations where uh, I play one song by two artists. So you, you know, kind of pick and choose who you like best. And that always kind of gets like some really interesting conversation happening online. Cause someone right. will say, I never knew that there was another version before this mm -hmm. one, or this one stinks. or this one, <laughs> you know, this, this person can't sing this person, you know, so right. it always turns into that. And then we always pay tribute to a legendary artist on the show as well. Yeah. Speaking of legendary um, artists, we recently found out today we lost uh, Mark, uh, Mary Wilson of the, mm -hmm. um, of the, um, Supremes. Supremes, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, what is, what is you know, we seem to be losing a lot of our legends um, now. What does it mean when we, to you when we have these losses? You know, we had Cicely Tyson not too long ago. What, what are your thoughts when you think about that? Well, I mean, it's exactly as you just said, they're legends, you know what I mean? And I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Miss Wilson probably about two summers ago. Okay. I did a festival in uh, Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. And she was on the show with uh, two other amazing artists and they were calling themselves the ladies of jazz. So yeah. it was it was good to see her, you know, I mean, and good to meet her. Uh, beautiful woman, mm -hmm. uh, obviously very talented, legendary. Yeah. And I'm glad I had the pleasure to, you know, kind of give her a roses while she was here. Most um, hey, listen, man, the, the, the winner and still champ is time, mm -hmm. you know, and ain't nobody going to beat it. Ain't nobody beat it yet. Yes. So, you know, uh, you have to make the best of the time that you have while you're here. Mm -hmm. And hopefully if you do enough, you will be put into that le legendary status. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people will give you your roses now and forever. You'll never be forgotten. Mm -hmm. So she's left her mark on the world along with, you know, your Cicely Tyson's mm -hmm. and, and our, our stars that are, you know, they're getting older. I mean, that's yeah. just the nature of the beast. You live, yeah. you're here, you do what you do, and then you're not. Right. And then, you know, so we have to create and you have to be part of the collective of uh, people that uh, have left some sort of a legacy to be remembered in that regard as well. Most definitely, most definitely. Well, we got to talk about the new album, the song. Boom, uh, let's talk about it. <laughs> so what was your inspiration? Again, it's your second release of the pandemic. What was other than the Bills, the, the Williams? <laughs> what, was your, what was your inspiration in creating this piece of work, the body of work? Well, it's weird. I mean, it, it initially started out as a project that it started out as a single. Uh, I had a single okay. called Right Where You Are, which is on the album. Yeah. Um, I was literally a few days away from going to Europe and I got a phone call from the promoter over in Europe. So he was like, uh, hey, man, are you still coming? I said, well, you know, yeah, what, well, you know, what's the, what the problem is, you know, right. what the problem is. The problem, it was right. like, yeah, yeah, what the problem is. They're like, yeah, we talked to Howard Hewitt, and he just canceled. So I'm like, I'm, I'm still, I'm not getting what you're talking about, yeah. bro. So I just said, all right, let me call Howard. Yeah. <laughs> so I picked up the telephone. I called Howard. I said, yo, man, what's going on? I heard you canceled, you know, the date, right. or you pushed back on the date. So he said, hey, man, this pandemic kind of got me freaked out. I'm like this, you know, this virus. So I said, man, I don't know. And I called a doctor friend of mine. I, was, I asked her, I said, hey, is it cool? And she was like, Negro, if you get on that plane, if the virus don't kill you, I'm going to kill you. Right. <laughs> so exactly. I immediately got on the phone, called the promoter, said, hey, man, I ain't coming. <laughs> All right. So we'll figure this out. 
So of course the people who had purchased tickets for the date, which was like I said, I was leaving in a few days right. after that. Mm-hmm. You know, they were like giving me grief online. So I just kind of said, listen, I'd love to be right where you are, but yeah. can't be. Oh. So it sort of prompted me to like, okay, let me write this song. I'm trying to get you the best I can, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, I, and right. the song starts like that. So that's how this whole thing started. And then I figured, like I said earlier, that this pandemic was only going to be a few months. I was like, yeah, we'll be back to work in no right. time. A couple of months went by, like nothing. So I was like, let me write another song. I wrote another one. <laughs> a couple of months went by. I was like, you know what? Let me just keep on writing. Right. And that's what I did. And yeah. before you know it, I had, you know, seven new cuts. Right. And I called it the song Garden because there's a song on there that pretty much speaks to a little bit of everything. So, you know, we have a song uh, called So Many Good Die Young. Yeah, so it kind of speaks to, yeah, so thanks, man. It kind of speaks to, you know, folks that have done some amazing things here on the earth, but unfortunately passed away at a very young age. Yeah. So, you know, we speak to that. We have a song, if you're trying to get proposed and you know what the hell to say, I got a song on there called Say Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got Right Where You Are, which is almost like an old school house tune. Mm-hmm. You know, it's 120 beats per minute, but, you know, beautiful melody and, and uh, great hook. So uh, we have a song on there called Chocolate. <laughs> you know, right. it's kind of sexual. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, it's you can go in the garden. It's just, you can pick from whatever you need. You know, we got you covered. Yeah. And you collaborate with your long-term collaborator and producer, uh, Randy uh, Bowler. Um, right. What's what's the what's the secret sauce there that, that makes you all create these timeless pieces of music? Well, you know what? When you find someone that you work well with and someone who kind of like fills in the gaps of uh, your talent, that's a great combination. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my 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 weaknesses are his strengths mm-hmm. and vice versa. Yeah. So you know, like if you work together with someone long enough, you kind of you get a groove with them. And, you know, we can write like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like if, or if I'm lacking in an area, he'll say, hey man, well check this out. And it'll inspire me to kind of pick right. my game up and vice versa. Yeah. So, you know, we've probably done, I'm sitting there looking at the wall. I wasn't doing a Stevie Wonder on you. I'm looking at the wall, uh, one, two, three. We've probably done about five, five albums together. Wow. So, you know, if it ain't broke, yeah, well, <laughs> you know that, that's my mentality. The best. Yeah, like, when you think back, thirty years in the industry, twenty-four albums. You knew the twenty-fourth album just released. Do you still have that hunger and that passion for it, or where do you feel that you are in your career? I mean, I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. You I mean, I yeah, man. I I genuinely enjoy the creative process. Um, uh, it, it's funny, man, because you know us being home. Okay, here's with most musicians and or singers or recording artists. Right. When you're at home, you want to be on the road. Yeah. When you're on the road, you want to be at home. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of like the best of both worlds for me uh-huh. right now. I mean, I was getting I was getting burned out being on the road. Yeah. So this was a great opportunity for me to be home, recharge my battery, and record. Yeah. At the same time, like I can't ask for a better scenario than that. And if if anyone else is out there is like me, if you put out a piece of crap music after being at home and being able to craft it as any way that you want and sit with it for as long as you want, then you should be doing something else. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I'm loving it, man. I'm having the opportunity to like really sit down and, and to, to absorb these lyrics mm-hmm. and to try to emote like what these lyrics mean to the listening public. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great time, man. It, Despite the pandemic, yeah, it's right. a great time to be creative and to make music and to do all the things that you said, you know, you've been trying to do or wanting to do. Right. Can't get no better time than this. So exactly. no excuses. Exactly. No excuses. Well, the album is called The Song Garden. It's available now. What's the best way for everyone to keep up with you and everything you have going on? Well, um, if you want to help a brother out and you want to buy a hard copy of it, which, you know, uh, a lot of people don't do that right. these days. They do right. digital. But I got you covered in both ends. If you want to get a hard copy, you can come to theprinceofsophisticatedsoul.com, which is my website. And you can pick up a hard copy and I'll autograph it for you if you like. And you can pick up some of the older music as well. You can also download the music there. 
or you can go to the, the usual haunts of Amazon or you can go to iTunes or whatever. Um, if you want to keep up with me and what I'm doing and or not doing, uh, you can always come to my website, willdowning.com. It'll tell you where I'm going, where I ain't going. Right. Uh, keep up with me that way as well. You can hit me on Instagram, I'm Will Downing 3. On Facebook, I'm Will Downing Singer and Will Downing. And there you go. That's all I got. <laughs> Well, Donovan, man, thank you so much. It is an honor talking to you tonight. And I wish you nothing but success with this album and everything coming. And uh, for more information, go to our website, thestephenightshow.com. We'll be right back after this. Boom. I appreciate you, man.